Welcome to the CW Game of the Week. We are just minutes away from a good old-fashioned grudge game. The Wasman Wildcats versus the Neville Tigers Hill at Bill Ruppel Stadium. Jones looking, looking, finding time, but Hodges after him now. Throws it up for grabs, and it's picked off by Wyatt. Ricky Wyatt still on his feet. He'll be pushed out. Big play by the 5'9", 220-pound junior. But you tell your quarterback, don't make bad plays. If you see things are going horribly wrong, you want to get rid of the football. That time, the quarterback rolled to the right. He was trying to get the ball out into the flat zone area to one of the wide receivers, but he didn't get enough on it that time. Ricky White in the backfield, along with the big guy, Demarcus Hodge and Charles Jones. The arse. Barksick's call, hand off to White, and Ricky White, all he does is score touchdowns. He goes in for the touchdown. Good job again of just pounding the football with your big running back off of the left guard, and it was nothing fancy. Line up and do it all over again. Let's see if you're more man than I am. Snap a little high, and it's blocked. That was Ladarius Dennis with the block for the Wildcats, so Neville will take a 9 to nothing lead on the CW game of the week. Taking a lot of steam out of their season, but Camarcus Jones is trying to get it back, and he might do it on this run. He's got one man to beat. Jones is going to take it in for the score. Unbelievable run that time by the big fella. Does an outstanding job of getting the ball into the end That was actually Higaria Scott in the Wildcat formation. My bad. Wow. Does a great job of getting a kick out block or crack down block by one of his ends. And once he gets into the open field, he can take it to the house. But that certainly put a pep in the Coach Z's step as the Wildcats are back in this ball game. They'll go back to it here again. Scott, shotgun formation. He'll take it. Bobbles the ball, it's on the ground. Neville has it, wow. And it's that man again, Ricky Wyatt. Ricky White has been all over the place tonight. Brandon Walker, of course, coming off a huge game last week. Four catches for 128 yards and two touchdowns versus Bastrop. Inside handoff to Jones, and Jones once again has some running room, and Charles will scoot in for the score. Good job that time by the running back on a little draw play off of the, uh, the left side of the offensive line. Invited those big defensive linemen to get up the field, and he finds just a little bit of a running room and takes it into the end zone for a touchdown. They certainly had it several times. They haven't taken a shot at him yet. He's already made several defensive plays, and they're going to Walker up top. He'll jump up for the ball as a fight for it. It will be picked off by the Wildcats. Wow, what a great play that time by the defensive back for Wasman. Dentarius Blunt comes down with the pick. Kept waiting but for the But the Wildcats right felt confident in Blunt going man-to-man -man coverage. Pass and he will be called with the interference. There must have been some uh, pushing before there. A huge break for the Tigers. If you want to see a hot coach, you'll see coach Dell Zimmerman here in a second. John DeYars is so dangerous he's in these situations, too. He's going to go to his left, finds a few blockers. He's going to go to the outside, and he'll walk in for the score. So the Neville Tigers take the lead. An impressive drive there. They catch a break on the pass interference call. The Neville now leads 22-6. to six. Even one of those type of ball games. Scott goes in motion. Jones is going up top. Has Got receiver it. open behind him. Big reception for Wasman. We'll take it all the way down to the Tigers' 36-yard line. And that's a good job by Walker to be in the right place because he was able to come up with a tackle on that last play. Great job by the quarterback. Had him running the seam route on that last play. So Scott will be back there. He'll try to bounce it out to the right. He's still on his feet, and Scott will go in for the touchdown. Good job that time by the running back on that last play. Lined up in the Wildcat formation once again and was able to get it around the right side and into the end zone for the touchdown. They break away and go to well, a They go for wide. get a two-point conversion here and you get it down to two or get it down to one possession game. They'll try. Right still on his wow, feet. he's still on his feet, and he will score. DeAndre Wilhite. Boy, that changes the complexion of the game. The Wildcats wow. are within eight. Like I said minutes ago, if you got one play, you've been saving. This is it. the opportunity to use it. 
as Jones will be in the shotgun formation. Scott will be spread out to the right. We've seen his speed early on. Jones will throw it up. Oh, great kick, kick by John Diorst. The sophomore sensation will take it to the house and seal the deal for the Tigers. His fourth interception of the year, and wow, did he pick an opportune time to rise to the occasion on the defensive side of the ball. Reagan Wise's extra point is good. So the Neville Tigers have sealed the deal with a John Diorst interception return.